Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about pancreatic cyst. So what are pancreatic cysts? Pancreatic cysts are basically uh, closed fluid filled sacs within the pancreas and they can be benign or malignant De that depends upon the uh, basis of etiology. So we can classify them in various types for example if we see the main classification that will be congenital or acquired. Congenital is something that we get by birth like a newborn is born with it. So due to some developmental anomalies there can be like a presentation like this that the baby that newborn will present with pancreatic cyst so those we will uh, put under this congenital part second one is acquired acquired is something that we will acquire over the course of our lifetime so we will see uh, what are the various type of acquired uh, pancreatic cyst that we can see here so first of all if we will see here retention cyst so these are the type of uh, uh, cyst that occurs due to stricture or obstruction by stones or tumors. So whenever any stone or tumor will block the pancreatic duct that can lead to the fluid formation and there will be like formation of little little sacs in the pancreas. So those will be retention cyst. Then second type they can be degenerative cysts. So degenerative cysts are usually uh, for example in case of chronic pancreatitis or acute pancreatitis due to inflammation of the pancreas it can lead to the gland necrosis in later stages. So they can form degenerative cyst. Third one is proliferative cyst. Proliferative cyst uh, these are mainly occurring in case of the tumors only. So in case of tumors they can form proliferative cyst in the pancreas. Fourth one are parasitic cysts. So whenever any uh, parasite for example any amoeba or any other worms etc they can uh, form various type of hydrated cyst in pancreas also. So this is the like major classification like congenital and acquired but there is uh, another classification which I have to tell you here uh, that is basis, uh, mainly based on the uh, pathology of the this uh, pancreatic cyst. So there are cysts uh, for example true cyst and also there are pseudo cyst. So these are the cysts true cyst they usually occurs in 20% of the cases for example uh, in main majority of the cases the cyst will be pseudo cyst pseudo cyst will be there but in 20 percent of the cases true cyst will be present and these are the cysts which are lined by epithelial layer so the cysts which are lined by the epithelial layer uh, they are known as true cyst so mostly they occurs in case of cyst adenomas or cyst adenocarcinomas so this is all about the true cyst formation another pathological uh, you can say form is pseudo cyst so these are the cysts which are not lined by any epithelial layer they are lined instead by granulation tissue so pseudo cysts are lined by the granulation tissue and in 80 percent of the cases of the cyst like overall if 100 patient will come 80 out of those 100 will present with pseudo cyst so this is uh, all about like classification of the pancreatic cyst now we will move on to the sign and symptoms like how will a patient will come uh, in the clinic uh, in front of you like doctor I am having these kind of symptoms so usually these cysts remain small in size and they are asymptomatic so whenever these cysts are present in small size they usually are asymptomatic and the patient usually doesn't feel anything uh, other than normal so but uh, in some cases like uh, symptoms can appear so what are the most common symptoms these are these are the basic symptoms like nausea, weakness, jaundice, weight loss, recurrent pain in the upper part of the abdomen and in some cases a patient can also present with vomiting. So these are the main six symptoms uh, which we have to look in case of pancreatic cyst, nausea, weakness, jaundice, weight loss, uh, recurrent pain in the upper part of the abdomen and in some cases vomiting. And also if the size of the cyst is large then we can uh, clinically like it is quite important we can palpate it uh, from outside also. If the cyst is quite large then uh, in very rare cases although because uh, pancreas is very difficult to palpate so in those cases we, it can be palpated. So what are the diagnostical like uh, things we have to do to diagnose these pancreatic cysts. So first of all uh, we can do like uh, hormone study for example we can check the patient amylase level amylase level is usually high in most of the cases of pancreatic cyst then uh, if uh, it is not inconclusive 
then we can go for ultrasound uh, which usually detects 85% of the cyst like ultrasound is a very good technique to diagnose these cysts and if that also didn't help then we can go for CT or MRI scan which can easily describe the location of and uh, of this cyst and also the size of this cyst and another examination is endoscopic retrograde cholangio pancreatography so ERCP procedure uh, so why this procedure we can easily check the pancreatic duct anatomy obstruction structure and uh, if there is any communication with the cyst cavity or it is presently uh, if it is present solo like uh, it is present without any communication with the cyst cavity so these are all the like diagnostic method which we can use to diagnose like pancreatic cyst so now we will see what are the major complication that uh, these cysts can lead to so the most common complication that these cysts can lead to are bleeding into the cyst cavity like uh, if they will erode some blood vessel uh, inside them then they can really make the person bleed and uh, his uh, stats will drop eventually and also it can lead to peritonitis if these cysts will open into as they are uh, not sterile so in those cases uh, if they will open up into or burst into peritoneum cavity so it can lead to peritonitis also they can lead to bowel obstruction also like if they are pressing into the small bowel then they can uh, obstruct that also and in rare cases they can also cause suppuration in the patient so these are the main four complications that uh, you know we have to see or uh, as a surgeon or as a doctor we have to like check in cases of pancreatic cyst patient because they can lead to serious uh, other like life threatening issues so what is the treatment so usually the final treatment is always surgical in case of pancreatic cyst so because you know uh, if we will give them like medicine for these things uh, it will not help eventually eventually we have to remove those cyst out of the pancreas so there are like various approaches for example radical approach it is the resection of the affected part of the pancreas along with the cyst so it is a quite radical approach like we usually remove that part along with the cyst of the pancreas then uh, we can also do another treatment like surgical treatment is the drainage of the cyst cavity we can uh, drain the whole cyst cavity externally uh, and also the internal drainage can also be done via uh, cystogenostomy or cystodeutonostomy or cystogastrostomy uh, these are basically procedure for example the cyst will be joined with the jejunum part of the small intestine and it will drain eventually and just like it can also be attached with the duodenum part and the gastric part of the stomach so these are the various like drainage system we can use internally if we have to drain the cyst cavity and uh, third important uh, surgical method is percutaneous puncture and drainage so in cases of suppuration uh, this procedure is done under CT and ultrasounded guidance and uh, in last approaches like in case of complicated uh, cases first of all we should do like uh, i have already told you about the complication for example bleeding peritonitis bowel obstruction so in all those cases we have to first and make ensure that the patient uh, vitals are normal so we must restore all the fluid balance in the patient and uh, along with the broad spectrum antibiotics because he can get peritonitis or some another like infection which can really drastically uh, kill the patient so this is all about the treatment approach for the pancreatic cyst i hope you like this video uh, please make sure to subscribe my channel and my instagram id is also given in the info so thank you very much